Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on advanced Microsoft Excel. Today I am covering chapter 5, Mathematic and Static Tool for Financial Analysis. I am Ashwini Bansal, your mentor for this session. We are discussing in this chapter just like statistical feature of Microsoft Excel, testing of hypothesis, confidential interval, level of confidential and level of significance, ANOVA, Analysis of Variance, Regression Analysis. Introduction. A static can be a numerical fact. For example, Google has a 5% return last month or a test average in a class was 79 points. It is both art and science. According to art, the presentation of your analysis matter a lot for one or more tables. And according to science, we must use the scientific method of experiment and probability. Statistical features like enabling statistical analysis without knowing the process, we can easily find the result and it can be done through analyzing tool pack. That is a add-ins in Excel, external add-ins in a Excel, which is enabled through file menu, options, add-ins, manage, Excel add-ins, then go button, and then finally, analyzing tool pack is activated through checkbox. File menu, options, then add-ins. There are various add-ins in a Excel. That is just like Excel add-in, com add-ins, actions, etc. in a manage drop-down menu. Choose Excel add-ins, then click on go button. Your add-ins tool pack window is enabled here. And first, activate the analyzing tool pack. Then OK. After activating the analyzing tool pack, in a data tab, last option analyzing tool pack is activated here. First, we have discussed the various simple functions of stat, that is mean, median, and mode. That is available in formula tab, then more then statistical and then average is the first function for mean and median is the second function and mode is the third function. These all are basic statistical function. What do we mean by mean? Mean is the average of various data and for calculating mean, you we use average function, median. Median is a segregation, the series in between two equal parts. Mode. Mode is the value with the highest recurring in a given data set. Let's take an example of arithmetic mean, median, and mode. Let's take an example in Excel sheet. Number of student marks we use rand between function for 50 student marks. So we can use equal to rand between in between 25 to 100. Select the 10 cells, drop down the 10 cells and 5 columns.
then add a formula in a excel sheet equal to average bracket start your values and then bracket close enter this is the mean of a student marks then median equal to median bracket start then cells bracket close that is the answer of median and last one is mode equal to mode mode single or mode both are same mode is used in 2007 excel 2007 and mode single is used after 2007 means 2010 onwards that is the answer of mode you can check the digits 64 is more than many times according to the definition of mode and uh, median first you can sort this data and you can find out the two different series one is uh, above the number and second is below the number and uh, me mean is nothing that is only a average next test of hypothesis hypothesis is a statement about a population parameter subject to verifying according to the sample whether it is acceptable or rejectable hypothesis test is a statistical procedure that uses sample evidence and probability theory to determine whether a statement about the value of population parameter it should be rejected means h0 it should not be rejected means alternate hypothesis that that means ha hypotheses are of various types just like chi test z test anova t test etc but we are only discussing z test and anova let's take an example of hypothesis according to the case study a statement from an official report says that ca in industry earns 6000 per month we feel that ca in industry have a mean annual salary of more than 60000 per month at alpha 0.5 0 0.05 sigma 12549 and a number of CA is equal to 36 and sample mean equal to 63,500. Can we conclude that CA earn more than 60,000? It is either acceptable or rejectable. According to the sample series, let's take an example of sample series. These are the few data available in the sample series. And the average of sample is 63,500. Hypothesis test say that either it is acceptable or rejectable. Acceptable means H0, H0 means less than or equal to 60,000 or and should not be rejected. That means alternate hypothesis HA, that means greater than 60,000. This conclusion is correct or not. We can find this conclusion with the help of Z test. Step 1 means hypothesis is acceptable or rejectable at 0 or h a and step 2 alpha is defined that is 0 0.05 that is always 0 0.05 and the step 3 hypothesis mean is given that is 60,000 sigma is also mentioned here Z test we can use z test n equal to 36 mean already defined here that is 63500 
alpha 0 0.5, 0 0.05, and SE. SE equal to D11 divided by square root of D13. That means sigma divided by square root of N. Sigma divided by square root of N. And Z test D14 minus D10 divided by D16. That means X bar minus hypothesis divided by standard error. SE means standard error. So your result is 1.67344. It is either acceptable or rejectable. Critical value means 1 minus alpha, that is 1 minus D15. Result is 1.644854. We can use the formula also, that is norm.s.inv. And if, if Z value is greater than the critical value, then accept HA, otherwise H0 means null hypothesis. If value is greater, then your salary is greater than 60,000. Means 6 1.67 is greater than 1.64. That's why we can go with HA, alternate hypothesis. That means your salary is, your sample data is correct. Otherwise, your sample data is not correct. That is a sample data. That means this overall data is correct. Second one is ANOVA. ANOVA means analysis of variance. Analysis of variance is a test to determine if three or more different methods or treatment have the same effect on a population. It is a group test. Let's take an example. We have three groups in an Excel sheet. That is group 1, group 2 and group 3 and various series of data. First, go to data tab for analyzing tool pack and then data analysis. Then ANOVA, single factor ANOVA, we can select single factor ANOVA. Okay, then select the series, input range here. That is your input range C1 to E5 is your input range and then group by according to your column. Your data is column wise so we can group by according to your column. If your data is row wise then you can change the cell into this option. Then check this box because first row is your label that is group 1, group 2, group 3 and by default alpha value is available here 0 0.5 and uh, select your output range that is let's say G2 is my output range and then click on OK. Your ANOVA analysis is done automatically. We cannot go with manual technique. This slide shows the manual technique of ANOVA that is quite difficult to calculate the ANOVA data because we have several different concepts in ANOVA. First one is degree of freedom. Second one is sum of square. Third one is mean square. And last one is F ratio. F means Fisher. Fisher is a statistician who create a formula to calculate a F ratio. Means Fisher ratio. Treatment error, these are a few formulas available in this sheet but this formula is not required because Excel analyzing tool, tool pack is automatically calculate this ANOVA analysis. That is your analysis. First group 1, group 2, group 3, total 4 concepts. Some average and variance is calculated automatically then sum of care degree of freedom features critical value 
Fisher's critical value. Here we find that F critical value is greater than F value. So according to conclusion, according to hypothesis, if critical value is greater than Fisher's value, then you can go with this data. This data is appropriate. You can go with this data. Means H A is acceptable. Otherwise, go with H zero. Means null hypothesis. And uh, next one is regression analysis. Regression means regression is an analysis is a statistical process for estimating the relationship among variables. It includes many techniques for modeling and analyzing several variables. The focus is on the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variable. Means predictions. In regression analysis, we can conclude that the predictions are correct or not. So we say that static tool used to create predictive models. There are two types: that is dependent variables and independent variables. In a regression equation, there are several dependent variables and several independent variables. Dependent variable is only one. Independent variable is more than one. Let's take an example. Here, y equal to a plus b x. That is the equation. Y is a dependent variable. X is a independent variable, and all the calculations of this equation is done through mathematical notation or statistical functions. Let's take an example: cost of goods and demand of goods. Cost of goods is just like fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, and ten. Demand of goods is if cost is fifty, then demand is five. If cost is 40, then demand is 10, and so onwards. We can use the regression and coefficient in this data. Go to data tab, then data analyzing. First, correlation. Click OK. Select the correlation and click OK. Input range is A1 to B6. Your data is grouped by column. First is your label. First row is your label, and output range is E2. Click on OK. By default, your correlation is calculated automatically with the help of data analyzing and correlation function. And second one is regression. Again, go to data tab, then data analyzing, then this dialog box appears, and you can select the regression function here and click on OK button. Same window is appear. According to the first example, y is a dependent variable and x is a Independent variable. Here, y is a demand of goods is always dependent on cost of goods. So, y is equal to demand of goods. Select the series demand of goods and x input x range is equal to cost of goods. Independent concept is equal to cost of goods. First is your label, and confidential interval is always related to out of hundred. That is approximate ninety five percent here. There are two types. Confidential level has two limits, means two types. 
that is for that is UCL means upper class confidential level and LCL means lower class confidential level. Select the output range that is E7 and residual option. Click on OK. Automatically your regression analysis is calculated here. Multiple regression. Multiple regression means correlation between the two variables and formula is equal to square root of r square. Regression secure. Regression secure means display the appropriateness of test. Adjusted regression secure is not used in the linear equations. ANOVA is already defined in the previous example. And next, regression. Here, lower 95% and upper 95% is two times in the series. We can delete the data in one time. By default, coefficient, standard error, t-test, p-value, lower 95 and upper 95 means UCL and LCL is calculated here. According to the above sample, your lower limit is this one and your upper limit is this one. And your residential output is automatically calculated through regression function. And if we calculate the value in manual system, that is equal to coefficient that is 77 minus coefficient of cost of good that is 1.6 and uh, value of cost of good is 50 50 that is the manual function and that is equal to this value and the identical is calculated through minus 3 and then demand of good that is minus 5. Minus 3 minus 5 equal to minus sorry 8. Thank you.